Hello guys, in this video we'll learn about Redis PubSub in Rust. So Redis PubSub is a messaging pattern which allows publishers to publish messages to channels and subscribers then can subscribe to those channels and get the messages. So let's see how can we implement it using Rust. First of all, we'll move to our terminal and try to spin up a Docker container for Redis which we'll be using for our development. So here first of all we'll do docker ps as you can see i don't have any doc, uh, rust redis instance running so we'll just do docker run minus p for port binding we'll just do th six three seven nine bind to six three seven nine and then we'll just do redis latest also let's do minus d so it's detached and does not run in the same terminal okay as you can see it gives me a uh, key so let's see docker ps okay as you can see my redis container is up and running and if you have any questions while running or any problems feel free to leave in the comments i'll happy to help so now we move to our uh, cargo terminal file here we need couple of things first is redis with the latest version and tokyo for our async programming so we'll use version as latest and features as full once you add these just build your project so once the project is built we'll move to our main and here let's get started so first of all let's make our main as async at tokyo on the top and here first of all we'll create a client so we'll just say redis client open and here we'll just pass the address so we'll just say redis 127.0.0.1 slash and unwrap so once we have this we'll create two connections so we'll try to mimic that our publisher is a separate service and our consumer is a separate service so we'll just say let mute popcorn and Client dot get connection dot unwrap and then same we'll just do let mute subcon is equals to client dot get connection dot unwrap and here we'll just do let mutable pub sub is equals to pub connection or sorry sub connection dot as pub sub and now first of all we'll subscribe to our channel so here i will name my channel as string from and i'll just name it as test you can name anything that you want and then first of all we'll subscribe always remember you have to subscribe if you are doing it in the same service then remember first subscribe then publish otherwise the messages will get lost and so here we have our pub sub uh, dot subscribe and we'll just say to this channel and yes and one thing that we do is we'll just say then we have pub connection which is the publisher connection dot publish and we'll publish the message to our channel and the message that we want to publish is hello world okay you can publish any other message that you want to i'll just publish hello one for now hello world for now and then we have to keep on listening on the subscriber side to the channel so we'll just say message is equals to pubsub dot get message dot unwrap and we'll say let payload is equals to message dot get payload dot unwrap and let's just give the string type here and we also have our channel here so same we'll say message dot get channel dot unwrap and then finally we'll just say print ln we'll just say message received and we'll print the message from we'll print the channel so we'll say payload and channel so that's pretty much it 
so one last thing that is remaining is we have to go on top of man and add here result of unit or radius error and why i do this is because we are not returning anything so either we return none which is unit or if there is any error while publishing or subscribing it will just panic and raise the error so basically we are expecting a redis error so either a unit or a redis error now let's go ahead and test this so we'll open our terminal and we'll just do cargo run okay as you can see it says message received hello world from test so that's the only thing that we are printing now if you want to print message sent as well then you can add print ln message published and then we go ahead and do cargo run again okay as you can see as soon as it was published it was consumed as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand the concept if you get any problem any issues feel free to leave in the comments i'll catch you guys in another video thank you for watching